All right. Germany, 13 infantry. The good news is, as you can see, we pulled them back out of Ukraine. <clears throat> so we're going to be able to cut that off. The bad news is I want to st stack Baltic, continue to stack Baltic. But to get enough there, it's going to put me really thin at trying to dead zone Ukraine to prevent him from just, from just going right back over there. Um, I think we're going to do it, or we're at least going to make him have to think about it before he does it. But again, we're going to have some fleet issues. So, um, real quick, the uh, combats, uh, he killed five units, he lost two, so 50-50 eh, split, so to speak, as far as, I, as I'm concerned there. So, <clears throat> thankfully I only had to repair one. Uh, I am going to go ahead and buy another fighter. I know, I said I wasn't going to buy more air, but I'm buying more air. And uh, that's going to give me seven infantry, leaving me two extras, because again, I do want to save some money, because we're going to start losing some here. Hopefully we're going to get a, a, a little bit of lucky odds in, in here, and maybe we'll, we'll capture one or two of these, um, trying to trade. And uh, it won't be as bad. But... We shall see. All right, so let's go with it. We want to go ahead and take that guy out. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. What do I want to do? Because I still want to hit this guy. I was debating on moving and shifting and taking Morocco and down here and uh, trying to distract some of his Japan units. But again, it makes it awkward leaving here. That's why I'm building a fighter for one to help start getting UK a little bit more into self-dependent um, but I think I want to do that if we don't want it it's not the end of the world and I can chuck some more people up this way instead but it's one less fighter coming and helping out here so I got four fighters here and I think I'm kind of leaning towards Call me crazy doing this. Because I, I really could use some luck. On the number of units. But I got these. I think I'm going to take a shot at that. Although with him going that way, I don't have him for backup because I really can't lose a fighter for defending down here. That yeah, might not be the best idea either. Dang it. if we do this I think we're going to try that I think we're going to see how that works out not really able to I'm not seeing what I want to see here totally but we're just gonna we're gonna go with it I'd 
like to see us get some decent dice. We're due for some dice. Oh, I think that's twice in a row cruisers hit, maybe. Nice. Now here's the uh, bonus IPC we'd like UK to get. Not that one. had done that wrong but oh well we're gonna move all our UK in here just in case I need to abandon that after all Forget those guys. I think that is it. All right, yep. Sorry, I have to think a lot on this game now. A lot of interesting components here. I still feel that I'm in a better positional advantage with being right next to his capital and hopefully being able to keep all of this dead zone and keep in shrinking in Germany. I mean, it's going to be a beast to kill out his final set here, but uh, I feel like we can continue to put pressure there. And if we can continue to keep them split here and just occupy them down here, we can last this out. So we'll see. Okay. So I mean, this game is definitely an interesting game. Um, I, I, a turn ago, I was feeling slightly comfortable. I wouldn't say comfortable at all. Slightly comfortable. This turn, I'm feeling slightly uncomfortable. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit. Um, I just, I'm not really sure where this game's going to end up. Uh, it, it's, it's an interesting game. Uh, this is definitely one of my longest. It's going to be one of my more epic games. But considering that round one, I mean, anybody who doesn't remember, go back to round one and the fact that uh, Ukraine was such a fail that I didn't even kill his bomber. You know, he had his bomber, his tank, his fighter. I don't. I think he had an artillery still live too, maybe. Um, and then a couple other early battles. The, the fact that we're in this is a positive thing, but it's getting hairy. I ain't going to lie. So, a couple thoughts going into space. Well, well, first off, you'll never guess what he did. Yeah, he did a bombing raid and won again. <laughs> so, yep, he bombed UK and hit it for 5 IPC. No bomber shot down. Uh, otherwise, uh, you, you can see he started uh, making a little progress into little more progress into Africa and like I said right now my goal with America is not to win Africa which sounds bad because we know Africa is kind of the pivoting point uh, as far as income you know uh, and uh, eventually I want to win Africa but right now my goal is to make him commit more units to Africa than I commit 
for him to take Africa. And, you know, you know, right now I've got, what, uh, 17 in there. He's got, what, 3, 6, 9, 11, what's that, 15. Uh, I guess if you throw him in, 16 ground units that have gone to Africa. And I'm going to bring six more in. He's going to bring eight more in. And, you know, I, hopefully I can just create enough of a headache that he's spending a little bit more down here than I'm spending down here. So that I'm making a little bit more progress up here than he's making over here. It's questionable. I ain't going to lie. Uh, so I'm going to get my U.S. turn going here. My, my Russian turn, as you're going to see, is going to be very dependent on what the U.S. turn happens in the U.S. turn. So I'm going to end up pausing so it's going to make a, a quick shift in the video when I go from US to Russia. I'm also going to check out, you know, do an update, hopefully if I remember, look at the Excel sheet and the uh, games war report for you guys as well. So, I mean, I, I already know what they're going to show. I, I, I know it's going to show it's shifting more and more towards Axis favored as far as those statistics go. Uh, the good news is these are all UK and he's not going to be able to trade any of these three anytime soon. So UK is getting a little supplemental income from the fact that we're losing Africa. And then I slight misplay by myself. I should have left a couple UK troops in here to be able to trade this next turn. Um, I just wasn't really sure that I was going to have enough to be able to, to do what I wanted to do, which is make sure I had enough in units in Bellow, enough American units to dead zone Ukraine from the possible of a 12-6, bring the tanks back, and then land the Japan Air in there. I realized after the fact that, you know, that would be a, a poor move by him. Because if he brought all that air in, then I would shift back out of here with my UK troops. And then bring everything in here, and I would have this dead zoned immediately. And then Germany would have to pull out... Or Japan Air would have to pull out when I moved to Ukraine, which would make those German units toast. Otherwise, um, Germany then has to pull out, and UK will be able to wipe out the Japan Air that's still sitting there because of the whole turnover bit. So it would not really be a good idea for him to come back. So to me, um, I did not need to worry about dead zoning this from German plus Japan. I just need to dead zone this from German and maybe a sprinkling of japan air which makes holding the baltic a little bit easier um i should be able to hold the baltic pretty well for a while uh the the biggest concern is going to be when he brings all of these back in one turn um bringing all 37 43 46 units back in one turn i'm not going to be able to match that uh the positive part that I can say, plus plus a build of 10, of course, is that he's not moving France back next turn. And the reason I know that is because he's got Japan Air sitting in here. Um, he's not going to move when the Japan Air vacate France. That's when I know Germany's getting ready to pull back. Because Germany doesn't want to pull back before then or else UK will kill his Japan Air. So this is you know that, that turn order bit that gets a little little uh interesting starts to play a role here i am thinking about possibly taking one of those cheap shots if i can count on my cruiser uh on france to see if we can knock out an aa before it moves back to germany um i'll, I'll keep that in the back of my mind it's always kind of nice you know if, if the cruiser hits it can be worth two two infantry to knock out the aa for future attacks i, I have become more of a fan of that Okay, so the other interesting part that is not always picked up, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to trade what I can down here uh, at low cost. If I, the trade fails and the trades fail, um, I am going to get my bombers, my two American bombers back in Kaza because I am still going to be able to hold Kaza, or I believe, still hold Kaza and Dead Zone Novo as long as I win that. So he's pulled his fighters and everything out, his navy's three away. So if I get two bombers here, um, 
two American bombers here, then he's going to have to pull back uh, two, two air, two fighters, or build, you know, most likely he'll build at least one fighter and pull one back maybe. But anyways, it'll pull his air back. But the other part of this is it is now time for me to build a U.S. transport because everything is over that way so far. And he's going to, with my bomber coming back, he's going to have to keep him his uh, C-Zone 61 protected. So he's not going to be able to move him back. So I build my transport. You know, he'll come back into here and, you know, maybe he flies a bomber out to one of these islands or something. But I'll be able to take Hawaii at the very least. And then he could maybe kill my transports if he wants to disrupt one of his bombers, pull one of his bombers away. So be it, but he's not going to have the transport around to come and take it. And I can always build a sub next turn, maybe, and make it, you know, to where it'll get challenging for him to get Hawaii back, or at least be a headache for him at the very least, and uh, challenge him a little bit. So we're going to build eight infantry, two artillery for our shucking, which... Uh, should get back in track. We're going to have to leave one of these transports because we are one transport load short of our build last time. Um, just because we ran out of production spaces primarily uh, and money, I guess. Um, but we'll, the, the 10 units will get my two here and eight come in. Eight built for the three plus the one that's going to be left behind to come back to next turn. So, so here we go. Um, some people may not like the move I'm getting ready to make. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't decided if I like it yet or not. Probably depends on how it goes. But I am going to take one of these tanks and four of these fighters coming over here. So, I mean, the reality is, is even with Japan splitting their forces, Russia's not going to be able to handle this Japan by themselves. Um... So they're going to need a little bit of support. So I am actually going to work on bringing a trickle of units back. Because I still got a while until I'm going to actually really have an attack on Berlin. So I'm, I'm going to work on a trickle coming back. Now, generally, trading with Japan, I'd rather U.S. units do it. Because then if the U.S. takes it, Russia will get the income. If the U.K. comes in and helps, they can kill the units. But then Japan will take it back and get the income. So... Generally speaking, I prefer it to be Americans lightly trading with Japan to help Russia out. So, so yes, I'm going to throw a tank in here, but also at this point, the, the, the tanks don't have quite as much value. I mean, I want to take advantage of its movement ability and hit the strike so that hopefully Russia can focus on these guys. I need one of these air fighters coming up, and that's so why I had to be careful because I'm going to need to shoot one of these fighters down to help support the fleet shifting around. We're going to give them a, uh, Germans a slight, like 60-something percent chance at wiping the UK fleet here, but that's why we backed it down to just one transport there. Uh, we'll see if he takes it. I don't know. I doubt he will, but... Uh, I also want to give him plenty of targets for his Air Force to go at. I also don't want him to bomb anymore at UK. So UK's down five, right? And we got 29. So I could repair that and still build eight infantry if he doesn't bomb him with Germany. So I want to try to give Germany targets. You know, we're going to hopefully have at least two land targets, but he's got five air. So he may go two, two and throw a bomber in there and Lord knows we're not actually going to shoot the bomber down, so. Um, not my only possibility there is the fact that he has been, he hasn't bombed much with Germany. I, he, I mean, I, I know he knows the value of these bombers in dead zoning my fleet, as well as with his trading, so hopefully he'll be a little timid in doing that. So this guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can still get him down there is where I want him to end. Uh, 
I, I'm going to overcommit. I mean, it's not really overcommit. You know, instead of the 50 50 going slightly more because I'd like for him to have to continue to transport, do a double transport to the southern tip here. Um, that way he can only pull three or, you know, six units from here into the front because this guy will have to go one, grab these guys, and come back if he wants to trade it again. So, going a slightly better advantage there. Um, we're just going to try the 50 50 shot, and if I, I, I don't believe I can dead zone this anyways and actually I'm going to pause real second real fast to see if I sent another one in, in one that can I dead zone it but I'm almost positive I cannot dead zone this so that next turn you know he's going to be uh, I can just talk it out so he's going to be able to pull eight units six from India he's able to pull him I pulled two from there so he's going to be able to put eight plus this six is 14 17 18 even if i have it under control he's going to have at least 18 units there and i'm going to have uh 7 11 and my two bomb yeah so i can't dead zone that so I, i'm not gonna i mean should i even bother with let's see how much air does he have hitting here i almost think it's better to keep these guys alive Thirteen. Let's see. He's got five fighters in the area. Other fighters can't reach down here. What about bombers? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That bomber can hit me. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that bomber can hit both. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't think this bomber can. Yeah, so two of his bombers and five of his fighters. So that's seven air. And then he's going to have a whole crud load of people there. Man. So... What I don't want to do is I don't want to leave too many here, him stack here, and I'm not able to restack here. I mean, I'm going to have six more units coming down this way. And I mean, I guess I'll have the transports there that I could evacuate them back if I need to. But they're going to be more valuable in defense now than they are going to be attacking, because even if I attack and win this... I'm still not going to be able to dead zone it, so I think we're just going to have to let him stack there. Although, on another hand, he's got too many artilleries versus his infantry. Well, he's going to be bringing all the infantry in, so that won't matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to save save him for a more powerful punch with my bombers, and you know whatever we can do. Let's see. I can send one of these guys and actually this guy can go one two three four so let's take that bomber instead and just help make sure we get that hit there because one two three four one two three four and then he can go down okay something this doesn't feel right oh what, what do i got here i got two fighters okay yeah those are the fighters that are coming back okay whoo i thought i had this all worked out ahead of time obviously i my mind's changing gears as i see things all right
Here we go. Strong, strong, strong. Unlikely. What's on the oh. That's fine. Swipe them. Um, no hitbacks. Okay, so the bomber was not needed as it turns out. Yes, no hitbacks. All right. Woo! Now the Russians don't have to worry about that at all. Most important to hit, taking it's a bonus. There we go, that's the key part. Taking it's a bonus, we'll take the bonus. All right, this is a must take. I guess not must take, but really should take. All right, a two take, that's nice, that'll make him want to commit at least two planes, if not three planes, just to help clear that better. All right, this is a need to kill bonus to take. Ah. Thank you. All right, bonus. So the next ones are really we really want to take this next one. Make them commit more down this way. Boom. Ah. I want. Okay. Thank you. Oh, two. Dang it. Arr. No. I guess I should have listened to their unlikely. I guess they knew what dice were coming. Really? Okay, so. I know these guys gotta come here. This guy's coming down here. We're gonna leave one destroyer back with these guys, so that gives me uh, five. He's got five German air. I, I, I don't think he wants to take that. I mean, it's three bombers, two pirates, so he definitely has advantage, but I don't think he wants to take that. I think he's going to want to use his air, but he does have some pretty good stacks that he could shift around instead. But anyways, I think with all that said, I am going to put one down here to make him have to trade it at least. I hadn't really thought about that. I was just going to land them back here, but I don't really need to land them back here. I could put them in Moscow or Kaza for defense. Huh, I got to think about that a little bit. That could help dead zone as well. One, two, three, four. I mean, I don't know if it'll be a dead zone since I didn't go ahead and kill them. I didn't, uh, I didn't even think about that. I should have been thinking about that. All right, we'll come back to think about that in just a minute. Let's finish the base moves first. We got to figure out where we want to put these guys because he's now got three air, five bomber, or five fighters, and two bombers we said that can hit here. So I got to figure out what that means. I'm going to bring my artillery back. So 28, 38, 41. I need at least that going to stack there. Uh, 
Alright, so the last things that I'm going to... Oh, need to move them up. And we need to pull back. One up there. So, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to think about this, because I need to think about it in, in the context of Russia's turn, and what it means with dead zoning and stacking, uh, especially with the fact that I can't... I wasn't thinking about putting these uh, American fighters down here, so... Um, that's a very strong possibility. I don't need them to attack. I just need them to be able to hit these guys and or get back over there. So I don't see any downside to putting them there. I'll need to check if I maybe need them here um, just to protect up Moscow. But um, yeah, this is one of those games that I feel better after my turn <laughs> than before my turn. Because now I'm like, okay, we, we got a nice taking control of some spots down here. All right, I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, now I, did, I know it's the screen just shifted and whatnot, but I've done some uh, crunching and thinking and planning, and the uh, it's going to get a little bit interesting. Uh, I did need to go ahead and move my two tanks for one. I am going to go ahead. I don't need them in the Baltic this turn, and I'm not really threatening Berlin, to be real. So I'm going to put them here because I don't need them in Moscow either, so this allows them to get to Baltic next turn if I need them for defense, but it also lets me use them... Uh, possibly here or possibly to get over back around down to the dead zoning or you know whatever um, that said I do think I want to send a couple guys that way a couple guys this way I really probably should sit down and calculate what if he brings in the 12 6 builds 10 and these 3 15 I to, to keep Baltic stacked I'm being lazy. It may be a bad, bad thing, but you know, I'm gonna have six American U.S. fighters, seven, eight, that I could bring in. Plus, I'm gonna have the 13 guys here, plus the 12 guys here. So it, it just feels like you know I'm gonna be able to bring in like 30 units. He'll be able to bring in like 30 units, and I, I feel like I should still have it. That's what I get for feeling and not actually calculating that out, though. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully I don't get anything for that. Hopefully I'm all good there. Oh, I forgot about these guys down here. What do I need down here real quick? Uh, so the bigger thing is this one's got the most threat on it. So what do we need there? We need... He can have three infantry... Five fighters and a partridge and a pear tree. Uh, three bombers? Or no, we said two bombers can reach there. Two bombers can reach there. And if we leave it as is, what's that look like? That looks like him winning. But is it profitable for him to win that way? It is. That's a no-go. No, no bueno. We'd have to move a pretty heavy stack down there to Yeah, we'd have to have at least that to make it not profitable for him. Um That would give me nine units. I can bail out six and three of them down. One here, a couple there. Bring the rest in. Uh, let's see, otherwise we're going to have nine, ten, thirteen, nineteen units we'll have here. Uh, if he brings everything in. So we're going to have nineteen there eventually. We're just going to assume he'll keep his five fighters and third bomber become available. He does five, six, six. Plus an extra eight infantry. Yeah, he would dead zone the heck out of that. He's going to dead zone that bejesus out of that next turn. Hmm. I 
guess we just have to use our our destroyer I mean our transport here as taking these two back and give this guy up because I just don't see how uh, I don't want to get them stuck down here and get, let him split me in two I mean even unfortunately even leaving one here Ugh, I hate this. All right, well, I think we got to, and we'll just use a transport next time to come down here and retake that, because I'm getting to the point where I don't know that we're going to be transporting more units. I think this is what we're going to hold out, what we can hold out, but he's going to land here, J-18, take these guys, J-19, moving into there, and then I'm going to be looking at a big wipe on J20 down here so US 17 US 18 I can pull them out to here US 19 I can pull some more out so we'll be able to pull out 12 of them and then let them finish off the rest Ugh, I hate seeing that we'll have to see if we can pull these fighters into it anyways that's a yucky situation because I can't, I just can't commit more to it right now. We gotta push this. Alright, let's double check everything. So we got two fighters coming back. Two carriers versus three bombers. We're accepting that risk right now. All right, I think we're good. The Americans are lit. Let's double check this. We have how many? We got 28, 42. More artillery. Three fighters. Bringing in the AA. All right, we're going to go with this. A little disappointed on this down here, but that four transport load is a lot. Which is unfortunate, too, because, I mean, really, he's got, you know, one more load of eight. And then, it's, then he's going to be inefficient with his transports. But, yeah, whatever. Moving on. You didn't seem too intent on doing straight bomb air raids over there, so I might as well put the artilleries up that way. So we're going to repair two here, and I am going to build another artillery. I know I, I don't normally build this many artillery with, with Russia. Normally I'm not in this position where I'm trying to dead zone so heavily, but I really just want to dead zone real heavily, so <laughs> it is what it is. Depending on what happens here, I'm playing with some ideas. Um, one of those being possibly throwing an AA and like three or four Russian infantry and in Caucasus to make it awkward for him to take with Japan. I mean, he still technically takes it with IPC value, but he's going to have to risk his air. And I just feel like I feel like my AA are this is the round of 18. Round of 18 is the round of the AA for the allies, including the industrial AAs. We're going to shoot down some bombers this round. So I'm, I'm leaning towards giving that a shot. I don't know for sure yet if I'll do that or not. 
I am going to oversend this a little bit. Uh, that gives me a 90% chance to take, because it's really important that I do take that still. Possibly into the point of sacrificing the fighter if it comes to it, which, again, I shouldn't even say that, because I don't want that to be the case, obviously. Um, oh, yeah. So, is this a, should we do it? I, I think we're going to do it this time. Make him start, make him think a little bit. We're going to go ahead and attempt this strafe. Uh, let's see, what's what's a good shot? I am not a strafe person at all, in case y'all hadn't noticed. Um, but, that being said, an infantry here, an infantry there is going to be uh, difficult. So, his average is going to be hit, hit in two. So, I want to at least average where I'm going to get a three hit. But I don't want to take it. So, a three hit would be 18 attack power. I want to send as few of units because if I do take it, I want to have as few of units in there as possible. So if we send one, two, one, two, that's an eight. Let's see, ten, twelve. So I don't want to get to eighteen. Fourteen, sixteen. Is that right? That feels weird. That feels awkward. So that's that's an 18 attack power. All right, I don't <laughs> I don't trust my manual math. <laughs> it just feels uh, 10 units just feels feels risky to me. Uh, all right, one round. One round will look like, and it comes to. All right, here we go. For anybody who's a strafing expert, you can tell me there's a better way to do this. I mean, the better way would be use my fighters, but I want my fighters in those other battles, so it's not really an option. So this looks like I've only got a 4.5% chance that I take it on one round, so I did one round of shots. And I'll average hitting 3, and he hits 2, so a profit of 3. So I'm going to... I'm gonna go that route. I'm gonna give it a give it a try. See what happens. If it fails, I blame all you guys that like to strafe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right. This is the most important of all the battles right there. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to see. Oh, whew. Ah, 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 oh, just breathing. Just made it. That one's not worth sacrificing the plane for. <laughs> Alright, one round. I feel like I'm pulling on a slot machine or something here. I'd love to see four hits. Four hits, four hits, four hits, four hits. Three. No hits, no hits, no hits. Two. Alright, well, I guess we can't ask for much more expected than that, right? I do want to retreat. I do not want to follow through with it. I'm not risking a double on that. Right? Let me... <laughs> Am I pulling out too quick? Eh, my calculator just went small on me. Hold on. I don't think it's worth the risk of another one round. 
<laughs> yeah, no, 50% chance I win. All right, we're retreating. So, yay for an infantry f infantry shift. All right, so. Does that mean I need in my casa? Twenty-six infantry, ten artillery. We got it. We want fighters down here. We got it. That AA to help those guys and. That one surviving that that throws off my plan for here because that's gonna be one more that could come here well let's pull out the good old calculator again real quick here so he has one infantry two tanks he's got one he can't reach he can't reach so I got five five fighters three bombers I gotta worry about What do I need? So I'll be able to move one artillery in there from the UK. Do we need to have in there to be comfortable? We need really at least 12, 13. Russians were dropping five so I can move some so that's not an issue we can move them so now the next question is what's it going to take to dead zone now that he has an extra infantry from what I was planning slash hoping on so he'll have 41 infantry seven artillery two tanks I can get there I need to be comfortable my 12 artillery which I'm going to have I need my two tanks, two fighters, and 40 infantry. Which we're building four, right? So we're building four there. 26 is 30. 40, so I can only move one infantry there. Yeah, dang it. And I'm not going to put the AA just with the tank because he could just do the four infantry versus that and take that risk, right? Let's look at what a, a one infantry, one AA, one tank versus four infantry looks like. So he would need to, yeah, he'd need to throw one plane into the mix. So if he throws a bomber in there. That will mean like 80% success and 4% profit, 4 points profit for him, counting the AA. So I think we leave the AA, AA where it's at for this turn. But we can move some of these guys down this way. Said I want to have like 13 to be safe safe up there I think we're building five let's leave nine up there that way we can have a little bit more of a what is that we'll have 41 43 45 units still not enough to push him off of here but make him maybe keep a few more and make him think a little bit more about what he puts through this direction all right you know what I'm gonna leave one less infantry it's just not worth it right why if I risk something we don't need to risk Uh, 
Alright. Oh, shoot. I got my war report again. Hold up. Dang it. See, I get going on all this stuff. So here we go. So uh, last time we had the slight lead. Now they have the slight lead because I haven't placed my uh, Russian units. It still counts it. Um, so I've got 18, uh, 47, 90 to his 98. So a slight more shift for him there. Uh, although this is going to go down slightly next turn at least. So slight positive there. So as long as things continue as they're going and these bombing raids continue to be successful i'm in i'm in a little bit of trouble it looks like although i still like my position on the board better so hopefully that balances off that 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 difference there as it is and then as far as my spreadsheet goes for those keeping track bombing raids they have now sent 19 with 66 damage and no bombers lost not that I'm keeping track <laughs> and then on the uh, big table the total unit count as we can see we can see the shift in the the income we can see it happening um, I still got a slight lead there um, IPC value starting to switch around you know, everything's starting to switch back again towards Axis favor here um, at this point in the game. So I definitely need to be making plans to make my move before this gets too heavily shifted back to this kind of stats. So, and again, the, I still feel somewhat comfortable in that they're a little bit more split, that the, the units aren't as consolidated except around Europe, so any case so that's where where we stand now um, still at an advantage from where we started but it is definitely evaporating at this point those bombing raids certainly have been a uh, problematic for me all right that'll be